Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nolena Bintu Muhammad Ghani So my project topic is Optical Instrument and Application in Nuclear Medicine Before I go further I would like to show you about my video My video show the movement and the application of the mission specificity in the nuclear medicine Let's watch it So, what is the nuclear medicine? Nuclear medicine is branch of the medicine that uses radioactive substance in diagnosis and also therapy. For diagnosis, we use radioactive that label with radioisotope, we call it as a radiopharmaceutical. But in therapy, we use the radioactive to treat disease. The radioactive substance is consumed into the body or by injection. So, the radioactive will be accumulated to the body and will emit the gamma ray. So, the gamma ray will be detected by the gamma camera. Okay, as I said just now, this is for simply example uh, for bone scan, which is in the screen, there are radioactive and also reagent. MDP. MDP is used for bone scan. So, uh, the stream will be injected into the patient vein. So, the radioactive will accumulate to the bone and the radiation will emit. So, the radiation emit is, we call it gamma ray. Gamma ray is detected by the machine of spread CT. And the Another example of the scan at nucleation is bone scan, thyroid scan, gastrointestinal scan, HIDA scan, renal scan, cardiac scan, and so on. Okay. So as we call it SPEC, what is SPEC? SPEC. S P. Uh, short form for single photon. Single photon means uh, the SPEC use a single photon. Why? PET use dual annihilation photon for image creation. And the emission, emission imaging. Emission imaging is not transmission imaging like S3 or reflection based imaging like ultrasound. And then C. C for computer. Computer means uses algorithm, not geometric tomography. And T. T for tomography. Tomography is produced 3D imaging, not planar. The SPEC scan uh, may help the doctor to analyze the disease and the function of the internal organ. So the SPEC scan of the type type of nuclear imaging test, it uses the active substance and form the image in 3D image. The camera is rotated 360 degree around the patient. The users are spread uh, commonly for heart imaging, brain imaging, tumor detection and also bone scan like I said just now. So what is SPEC CT? Just now we're talking about SPEC and now we're talking about SPEC CT scan. SPEC CT. SPEC means the image obtained following by injection that contain amount of radioactivity which is uh, used to determine the function of the body area. And the SPEC camera is rotated 
360 degree around the patient. Why the CT? CT image obtained when patient lie on the center of the scanner. And the scanner also rotate 360 degree, allowing for the reconstruction of 3D image. So when we when we got image from the spread and image from the CT, we can fuse the image. The image from each scan are fused together. Fused image provide more accurate information for anatomy and function area that we that region region body of interest. Fusion can provide confidence in identifying and localizing problem. So this is a SPEC CT machine, which is for the SPEC or gamma camera. We have two head of detector, first detector and second detector. And at the back, we have a tube for CT scan. When patient lie, uh, why, why, when patient lie on the table, patient with radioactive light on the table, so the body patient will emit the gamma ray and the, the gamma camera will detect the gamma ray they emit for the patient and we can see the image uh, at the computer. Spec camera component. Camera component consists of first is collimator, second is uh, sodium crystal, second is light guard for optical coupling, and then PM cube ray, PMT, or uh, then pre amplifier. After that, a uh, position logic circuit for differential and addition actually. Then amplifier for gain control. PHA, which is pulse head analyzer and also display for cathode ray tube. So, how SPEC works? SPEC works uh, when a pharmaceutical inject to the patient body, it travels into the bloodstream and concentrate in the region of interest. Then, it decay and emit gamma ray. So, the gamma ray will travel throughout to the body patient and detected by the gamma camera head of spec CT machines. The ray is collimated by collimator which is to minimize scatter and improve image quality. So the collimator gamma ray hits the, the detector. Usually uh, sodium iodide we use uh, as I mentioned just now that component consists of sodium iodide crystal which is its functioning for convert energy of gamma ray to visible light. As a visible light travel to the PMT for absorb the light and emit electron. Then the electron emitted are used for image formation. Detected by positioning circuit, decode, decode body position of original photon. After that, a PHA decode the energy of the emitted photon. Then the information is passed on the digital circuit on a computer. Well, where algorithms are used to reconstruct the image. The resultant image gives a physiological state of the organ, uh, which is a uh, hotspot, means uh, area of increased uptake, and cool spot means the area of decreased uptake. So here I state the differences between S3 and gamma ray. Uh, first is two forms of radiation are high energy electromagnetic ray and therefore virtually the same. And second is the differences with them is not what they consist of but where they come from. If the radiation emerge from the nucleus, it is called a gamma ray. But if it emerge from the outside of the nucleus from the electron cloud, it is called as the X-ray. The term of electromagnetic photon is used for this particle. The interesting feature about this photon, however, is that they have neither mass or no charge. So here the image, which is gamma ray and X-ray. Uh, gamma decay. So what is gamma decay? Gamma decay involves the emission of energy from an 
stable nucleus in the form of ele electromagnetic radiation. The radiation can be characterized. The radiation can be characterized in terms of its frequency, its wavelength, and also energy. In terms of energy of the radiation, we have very low energy electromagnetic radiation called radio wave. Infrared radiation at a slightly higher visible light at a high energy the ultraviolet radiation. And the higher energy form of radiation are called X ray and gamma ray. This radiation form called as the electromagnetic spectrum. Gamma camera. Gamma camera functioning is for detect radiation from the entire FOV and enable the acquisition of dynamic and static region of interest. And second is spread, which is spread is with a uh, recent develop from the gamma camera. Uh, use optical fiber to couple the scintillation crystal inside the magnet to either PMT and electronic outside the fringe of the magnetic field. And nuclear machine detector. Nuclear machine detector is transduced of the energy of a gamma ray into light. Sodium iodide functioning convert the gamma ray energy into the light at 450 nanometer. The linear attenuation coefficient of sodium iodide is 2.22 centimeter. FWHM of the photopic and typically is about 14 keV or 10% for the gamma cameras. Resolution for this type of collimator is much better than that from a standard collimator on the same system. Energy window shift up to a photo of 140 to 145 keV. Quantum scatter radiation entering the window will be below the photo peak. So this is a basic CT scanner component. Scanner component we have uh, gantry, X-ray tube, detector, and also control console. As you can see, the red laser inside the gantry of the CT scan. So the red laser is functioning just for alignment and marking to the body patient, marking the body patient. So the red the red laser means visible light. And the red laser wavelength about 620 to 750 nanometers. This is a position patient during the acquisition. Uh, for whole body imaging, the patient will position like this. Both scan for both scan acquisition. For as a routine, we do the whole body imaging, three face both face, both uh, three face both scan, and also spread or CT imaging. The spread or CT will be continue if the doctor require. Positioning patient for scanning without any metal substance. Follow the acquisition setup such as whole body and pelvic area first. Uh, third is the scan takes time about 30 to 45 minutes and the doctor will review the image and after that we will proceed CT scan if uh, doctor require. So this is a result for the bone scan. We can see that uh, there are uptake in the bone of the patient. Bone scan is much more sensitive in detecting metastatic lesion in majority of cases. So, for the result, it's abnormal, symmetrical, and if the abnormal, we may first increase in uptake, second is decrease in uptake, and third is we mix. So, here is, I show how the spec CT machine rotate into the 360 degree. At the first is 0 degree, and second is uh, 45 degree. The is 60 degree and after that 125 degree back to 180 degree and back to 0 degree again.
This is the image of the spread CT, which is uh, the image of spread by rotation 360 degree and the CT. We can produce slices of the image. So the function uh, we use spread and CT, which is we can know that either the uptake is uh, located at the muscle, bone and so on. This is example for thyroid uptake. So when we fuse the image from the spec and the CT, we can see that the location of the thyroid uptake. Doctor we interpret the result. So for image quality, uh, we have special resolution, contrast or density resolution, noise, temporal resolution, dose and pitch. Special resolution is uh, ability to distinguish to small height contrast object located very close to each other under noise free condition. And contrast means ability to differentiate attenuation coefficient of adjacent and of tissue. Noise means variation in the computation of pixel value. Temporal resolution is ability to capture object that change shape or position over time. And dose increasing the dose improve image quality. And pitch decreasing pitch improve image quality also. For the conclusions, we can know that by using a small amount of radioactive, we can elevate the and treat the variety of disease including type of cancer, neurological disorder and also abs another abnormality. And second is nuclear medicine and imaging procedure are considered non-invasive and relatively safe. There is no long term adverse effect such low dose exposure. And some potential side effects such as bleeding, swelling at the injection site and allergy reaction to the radiofimocytical. And lastly, the nuclear imaging agent is out of your system within 60 hours, but it is always decaying, so it's come minimal in a relative short period of time. So this is a references where I got the information from the book and others. Uh, mostly, I just follow the guideline and as well of the nuclear medicine as the HSM.